Good evening. Hey, and my sound is actually working too. Awesome. Alright, so apparently my internet issues were my own issues. I won't talk about my issues, but um, I just had to restart the modem. And that probably could have fixed some of the past stuff that I've dealt with. So I think we're going to make that a pre-stream uh, ritual is to um, perform uh, ritual sacrifices to the... Um, internet gods, as well as uh, to the modem. But, having said that, I think we are ready to get going. We are... Oh, and the sound issues. The sound issues were that, for whatever reason, my computer decided to, that my headphones, which I've had forever, are a new device and needed to be reconfigured. So, but, no further ado. Let's jump right back into it. Ness, level 28. And we had just finished up things in Saturn. Uh, yeah, basically in Saturn Valley, we beat the Trillion Age route, got the... I believe it was Milky Well. Helpful and dandy! Alright. So we fixed things up in Saturn Valley. And that should have cleaned some things up in 3, since uh, Master Belch was the source of zombies. <laughs> 500 experience points. Nice. I like how in this area they have kind of a muted version of Saturn Valley going in the background. Because especially when you're coming in for the first time, and you're just hearing this really off music, you're like, what is going on? What have I gotten into? I really like the way they played it. Oh yeah, that internet connection is just so full green. Was scared of the flying roach and froze. I honestly can't blame her. You forgot the number one rule troubleshooting. I am disappointed. Yes, I have to turn in my IT card to this. In my defense, 95% <laughs> of the time, internet issues at in a corporate environment are the ISP's fault and uh, have nothing to do with uh, or and you never reboot you never reboot your your routing equipment <laughs> ah why not but my equipment is not corporate equipment. It is internet service provider, home grade equipment. 
and I'm not given any guarantee of the speeds that I'm received. All this tw level is 26, offense 1, speed 1, vit 1, HP 8. Hey. Um, and I just need to remember that. This frog is hacking. I'm gonna leave him to the consequences of his misbehavior. Now we go through this area and it is completely empty. Nice thing is it makes it easy for you to get these. Let's open the casket. But it was empty. But it makes it easy to get those if you decide to skip them to not, uh, or to avoid some encounters. looks a lot different now. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to three. Thanks. Peace. Love. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to three sometime? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. Buses can get through the tunnel now. I really don't... I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? You say to the kids. Nice. Alrighty. Such a fun and stark contrast that they uh, draw between pre and post three. They really did a great job with that. I want to go through the desert to, and onto the big city. I want to see the city, and I want to smell like the big city. I'm a real urban type guy. Good on you. No problem here. out the ruins of the Skyrunner. It's impossible to fix for the time being. Thank you. Your heroes. That rocks. Actually, let's start with the left side. I really want to go through and see uh, everybody's responses. No one is here now. Okay. Do that way how our double agent is doing. Oh, he's not there. Oh, there's a zombie show down there. Check that out. I thought there was something more to you than just your smile. Thank you. We won because of our brains, guts, and togetherness. Wow, what a rush. No, he won because some kids <laughs> beat the bad guy up. Talk too loud. What do you want? No, you don't have any what I need right now. Could use some bottle rockets. Eh. Well, that's showing good sense. Don't strain yourself too much. So that's everything. Keep on the watch for bad guys. 
Alright, will do. I had to run all over to escape the zombies. Now I can't remember where my house is. This town used to be dark. But thanks to you, now it's bright. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles. What a great photograph. And you didn't have to burn down the tent with all the zombies. This is true. Because we had zombie paper. PM. The town is at peace, but my wife and kids won't speak to me. What's the problem? Uh, because you completely abandoned them to save yourself? The monsters are no longer in the tunnel. I, it became r really quite peaceful compared to before. You can go through the tunnel anytime you want. That round flying object. A kid with glasses was on board. The craft landed near the graveyard, right? Can you fix it? No. It's such a waste. We can't do much about it. You made our lives peaceful. I can sleep again. It's like you used a bunch of peace paper, right? Ha ha ha. I uh, just saying the same thing. We should also stay at night in the hotel. See what the... Uh, I'm so glad you wiped out the zombies. Let me give you a kiss. Smooch. <laughs> I'm blushing. Yeah. So he's still watching a zombie movie. <laughs> during the entire <laughs> situation. I'm not sure who you are, but congratulations. Oh, thank you. And that's the hint. Signs aren't going to have changed. Oh, this guy's funny. Finally, I can, we can breathe deep the outside air. Now that the zombies are gone. <laughs> the doors are so refreshing. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I passed by there just not too long ago. So the thing about this guy is I think there's a way you can get him to lock himself back in the house and lose his key or something. Visit three again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, look, there goes a bus. <laughs> like I told you, there was a barfy bad guy named Belch. Thank you for giving him the big flush. Bakery is next door. Oh, that's good to know. Whoa, dude. Like, my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down, man. I'm totally bummed because I have another girlfriend here in three. After the buses started ringing again, I decided to come see my boyfriend. Really shouldn't have though. <laughs> Check him out. I think he's the bee's knees. Whoops. I mean, he's way cool. He used to be in a band. I heard that you beat the zombie leader after you got some important info from me. <laughs> you should at least thank me. Or how about a shoulder massage? Why are you giving me such a dirty look, you brat? <laughs> uh, you can't talk to them? Oh. Yep. Well, that's unfortunate. I still like how that NPC looks like Pikachu from Peanuts. Yes, he does. Can't 
talk to any of the zombies. Zombies and ghosts are not on the loose anymore. Oh yeah, you guys got rid of the monsters. Oops. <laughs> Check out the hospital, see if there's any different people upstairs. If you would have taken me along to hunt the zombies or something, I would have been a big help. Uh -huh. Empty hospital rooms, that's a good sign. I'm not afraid of no zombie. They come out, I beat it myself. Actually, I don't want them to come out. They're way too scary. I think that pretty much covers everything. Oh, yeah, we wanted to stay at the hotel anyway. The girl in Foreside called me. There is a really popular band there now. I think they're called the Runaway Five. Really? I came to Foreside by bus. Buffalo? Yeah, I saw lots. It's awesome. I guess I'll do this first. Yep. Um, yes and no. Uh, what you're referring to is a mirror universe. You get to that city from, it's called Moonside. Um, and it's a little bit of a mirror universe sort of thing. You'll see as we get to that point. Yeah, good, um, good thought though. Um, they're very much related and it'll look very much familiar. Good morning. The pride of the three publishing community. The three journal is back with a vengeance. Zombies vanquished. Tunnel now open. It's Does Ness have a goatee? Um, only his evil version. Uh, especially near the graveyard. It's dangerous. But now it's cleaned up, so it's safe. Just to let you know. Thank you. So, uh, is that guy going to be there in the corner? Yeah, he's... Okay. There's one house where somebody lost their key, and then they went back inside, and now they're locked back in the house or something like that. But I can't remember which one that is. Let's check the bus schedule. It looks like the next next bus will come pretty soon. This bus goes to Foreside. Can't let you on if you don't pay the six dollars for the fare. Do you want to go? Okay, we're off. Bumper to bumper. 
my job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. This traffic jam is taking forever. Man, do I need to go. That is the problem. I feel sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. I heard there was a... I heard that a little ways ahead, a herd of buffalo is running across the road. I can't move an inch. Welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. Oh, I wasn't talking to that guy. I was going to see my girlfriend in Forside. At this pace, it'll be a hundred years. I'll be a hundred years old by the time I get there. Let's go get some drugs. <laughs> Let's see. Don't need anything at the moment. We're also running an inn. Uh, no. You see, our beds are really old and dusty. I'm glad I said no. Let's see what we can buy here. Mr. Baseball Bat, nice. I need to sell something. Remove some inventory around. Yeah. Uh, yes. I would like to sell. What can we sell? Oh, I need to go turn that bicycle in. And the insignificant item. That would actually free up two item slots. Freeze up an item. Mr. Baseball Bat. Alright, who will carry this? That will. Equip it. Offense change from 78 to 90. Sell the old one. What else can we get here? Like Fry Pan, Deluxe Fry Pan, and Paula has a better weapon than both. Silver Bracelet and Coin of Slumber. Ooh, a little too rich for my blood right now. Let me withdraw some money. Point of slumber. Yes, equip. Defense went from 47 to 62. And I think that was it. I'm going to clear up a little bit of inventory by seeing if we can. Oh, nice. We thought of that. I'd have to walk back. Okay. Let's see, what can we eat or use right off the bat? Oh, here's another thing. Red Ribbon. That would drop her defense, so let's... Let's sell the Red Ribbon. And we can probably store the Fly Honey. So we've got a couple of things we can store. Sell the home tap, probably. Okay. Alright, we've got a plan. Tracy, I'm working part-time. Pick up, please. 
awesome. And I can't remember, but I think if you ask for items to be delivered but you don't have enough money, you still get the items back because the delivery guy does not want to um, carry the items back. I'm waiting for the delivery guy to come. that bill. I do want to hold on to that. Fever phone. I'm going to have him hold that. I'm going to have him hold the bicycle for now. Jar of fly honey because I don't think it's useful at this point. Welcome. Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Kali Rama is great and kind. He knows everything Kali Rama does. He made us the underground rooms. There's a mushroom. Kali Rama is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He is also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly, too. Please don't bother him. Bother. Yeah, I don't think he's going to respond. I wonder, with the background sounds, if you play that backwards, if that plays anything interesting. <laughs> All right, the desert it is. Uh oh. You confront the cute little UFO and its cohorts. Bash the Gelpion. <laughs> cute little UFO fired a beam 35 to Ness. Skeleton hits Paula for 10 HP of damage. Skeleton or the scorpion and the UFO. Nice. The enemy left a present. It was a cookie. Ness's level is now 29. HP went up by one, psychic points went up by one, and we got paralysis omega. Nice. Eat a cookie. Ness opened the present. There is a double burger inside. Double burger. When eaten, you will recover about 90 HP. 100% beef. Let's check out. Ness can equip this weapon. Aw, oh, that's all it says. Point of slumber. Must be equipped as other. Increases your defense and luck. Okay, let's look at the insignificant item. It doesn't look like it would do much of anything, but... Dot, dot, dot. 
Uh, Mr. Saturn Coin, help. Must be equipped as other, increases your defense and luck. It's not money, even though it's called a coin. Okay. Sunstroke. We sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't usually wear a bathing suit, right? Hey, stop staring at my game lines. Go away. Annoying kids. What a group of brats. Scat you little monsters. Oh. Oh boy. Ah, I hate these things. Oh, but I got a red? Or I have a uh, green out of it? Sweet. I'm gonna run away. Which I think you get a guaranteed run away if you get uh, green. I'm just a pile of bleach bones. I can't talk. Ooh, that was close. Oh, and Paula has sunstroke. Let's see if I can just run away right off the bat. Yeah. Alright, looks like we're in this. Use freeze A. And protein drink. Give to Paula. Or cry. Jeff's offense and defense went down. HP. Alright. Can't remember, did that do a lot to it? Yep, one through three. Okay. Ooh, that means that these two attacks are gonna go to the sphere. I think we can do this. If I just mash the button fast enough, we'll run away by the time the. So, enemies like that, the sphere and the uh, oak tree from Peaceful Rest Valley, they explode and can deal a significant amount of damage, but typically it just takes a little bit off of your total because uh, it says the battle is ending, but you want to make sure they're the last thing you kill. Otherwise, like you thought, it could have been a fatal, uh, fatal battle. 600 experience point for the... <laughs> I was about to call it a lobster. A scorpion. The frame rate went way down on that. As sea monkeys live in the sea, desert monkeys live in the desert. Dessert. I mean desert, not dessert. I am happy that there are animals in the desert, aren't you? Um, not the ones that want to kill me all the time. This is a great idea. Skip damage will make it easy to canvas some of the desert area. Ooh. Okay, how did I get green? Now let's go ahead and use this to... Of course, everybody... Wait. So I had a surprise opening attack, and literally everybody just missed. I still can't believe that. I got a surprise round. Oh, a boiled egg. Use on Paula. Yes. Exactly. And double burger use it on Jeff. Sweet. Couple life noodles. Nice. Oops. Oops. Paula's gotten 
sunstroke three times already. Ness spotted something shiny. There was a set of contact lenses. Ness got the contact lens. I lost a pair of contact lenses here in the Dusty Dunes Desert. They were a memento from my grandma, and very important to me. If you find them, bring them to me and I'll give you a reward. Pinatella Giovanni. Find me in the Foresight Bakery, second floor. She is pale. <laughs> this is true. Even though I'm just a pile of bones, I can talk and I'm lonely out here in the desert. <laughs> Here's a big bottle of rocket inside. Good. We need to give that to Jeff. Use this item for great damage. I heard that the black sesame seed I used to love is somewhere in the desert. If you see him, please tell him that I still love him. Yes, it is a one pixel <laughs> thing there. I'm gonna use another skip sandwich because. Black sesame seed is, whoop, I believe, at the top of this area. Ness and his friends gain 1,270 something EXP. Aw, oh, man. I am going to run from this because we have a quite an array of enemies here. Oh man. I'm going to try to run away one more time. Oh. Oh, wow. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I have anything that can be eaten. Oh, I can use Cup of Life Noodles on this. There we go. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do... Cup of Life Noodles on Jeff. And Paula will use Freeze. On the UFO. Ooh. And have him shoot. Alright, so we're gonna bash this guy and run. Jeff's finished healing, so. Wow, that was rough. 2,000 experience points. Hey, but we got a boiled egg. Jeff level's now 27. Nothing good but HP3. Oh, man. Oh, 
Where? Ah, here's that black sesame seed. Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame seed like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame seed that I've heard before. I could just see her. What? The white sesame seed still loves me? Weep, weep. And for reuniting the sesame seed, or for, I guess, reuniting them in some way, um, you get a picture. I'm a photographic genius if I say so myself. It's in memory. Give the camera. Hey, Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. The fondest of memories where <laughs> Paula is dead. <laughs> or unconscious, I'm sorry. Do I have a skip sandwich? Nope, I used them all. Alright. See if we can make it through the desert. Well, Paula's not going to get sunstroke anymore since, you know, she's a ghost now. Oh, we can give this one an update. Really? You've seen him already? Was he okay? Mm, I see. Hole's great. Good hole. Good hole. Good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving. You have any food to spare? Sure. Seems like you got a lot of stuff. What are you gonna give me? Uh. Hope I have some food. Uh. How about a caramel? Thank you. Okay, that worked. If I find the gold, I'll give it to you. Wee. Alright, healing on Jeff. Jeff, some stroke was cured. Nice. Oh. Incident spin the night. I have anything that can revive Paula at this point. Oh. He's gone into his hole. Nope. Nothing much here. And here we are, we have reached the end of the desert. Oh, Ness finally gets the stroke. There we go. There is one thing I want to show off down here, and this might have been in the Nintendo Power screenshots as well. There they are. Actually. I'm Big Brother Poncho. I'm Kid Brother Pincho. I'm Thomas Jefferson. I'm a broken slot machine. But the Sanchez brothers and their friends are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert butt? Sure. Let's give it another shot. Aw. And you don't win anything too significant. Let's open the presents. We got a thousand dollars. Nice. Alright, let's get back on the road. And keep on our way. Hmm. 
in subsequent pass-throughs at this point, the um, traffic jam is cleared up. So that's no longer an issue going from place to place. Big city. The city of Forsyth has developed quite a bit. It's Mr. I really want to try to pronounce this. The last name is Monoto uh, Monotoli, which is supposed to be a play on uh, Monopoly. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Mr. G Monotoli. <laughs> Hit the big time. It's been good for the city. And of course, people are just running around the park looking for people to beat up. The annoying... Reveler. Okay. He's wobbly. Cranky lady. Wielded a shopping bag and hit me. This, I think I just met Kieran. Kieran turned back to normal. Yes, and Jeff gained <laughs> that face, yes. <laughs> 1,826. Ooh, green. Yes, this face stares into your soul. Man. Let's see. Oh, you guys aren't seeing what I've got going on. Okay, I'm going to do this. See if I can add this image. Browse. Here we go. <laughs> that face. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Nessus level from now 30. Offense went up by 1. HP went up by 2. Psychic points went up by 2. <laughs> you know what I should use? 
the map, it'll tell me where the hospital is. And there it is in the very top. Oh, no shortcut there. No one knows anything there. But not only is Toadie... Oh, Toadie stole everyone in me. Everyone, everything from me. Including my house and land. Weep, weep. They are evil incarnate. Liars, policemen. Everyone that follows Monot Monotoly. They're all his toadies. No matter how you fight him, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Just leave me here to cry in my cappuccino. Nosy. That's... That's probably not a cappuccino. Who do you want to see? Paula. Paula was just brought in and is still unconscious. Please pay 150 bucks for the doctor's fee. I'm so glad that you recovered. I think this is just the... Recently, a strange fellow has been wandering around this hospital saying, He can cure you of the afflictions that we can't treat. Please be informed that he has no connection with this hospital. <laughs> And that's just the doctor's office. And they really make that this hospital feel much bigger just by that hallway. Grandma's gonna get better, huh? I'm just enjoying being with my grandchildren. I'll be better soon. Do you have grandchildren? Yes. Oh. At your age? Oh. The youth of today shocked me. My lands. <laughs> yes, yes, you seem a little young for that. <laughs> this is not a hotel. Staying for the night is not permitted. We got our party back. First things first. Shopping spree at the department store. I'm very punctual about time. And careful with my money. I don't look like it though. No? Really don't. The statement is true. Come on, we've got the goods, G. What are you looking for? Broken gadget, broken iron, and spray and rush promoter. I think broken gadget turns into something useful. Broken gadget. Hey guys, who's gonna carry this? Well, get anything else? No. Nope. Thanks a lot, bro. The boy stuck to the wall may be a peeping Tom. Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like this isn't my place. Maybe it's your place. That looks pretty significant right there. Ooh, Monopoly. Last night, there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you to the next game. Hey, wait. Do you even know what solitaire is? I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monot... I used to call him Monotoli. Which... Isn't an unreasonable pronunciation, but I was informed at some point that it is a play on Monopoly... So I think it's supposed to be Monotoly. Hello, baby face. What brings you to the Mono... Mono okay, I'm just going to say Monotoly. I'm going to be my ignorant self because it's so much easier. 
What brings you to the Monitorly building? This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. It's staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Fine. No oh boy. Are you a friend of Master Pokey's? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with that with a machine gun. Good to know. Whoops. I was almost gonna beat you up. Forty seven, huh? Earthbound devs equals TNG fans. <laughs> Conspiracy theory proven true. You won't get away from me, kid. Get away from me, kid. <laughs> Golden covered office. Ooh la la. It's my poor old friend. Ah, what's your name? Big Spot. No, no. Ness. Didn't you come? Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la! Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey, get it? I'm now Monotoli's partner, and I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some ratty-looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here, now, loser. You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that? Oh, yeah? Okay, he just repeats the... I was hoping there might be something else. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Changed much, Ness. I'm Eloasis Mitch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live in a life, or I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. <laughs> oh, my jaw is tired. Good for you. Good evening. Private elevator. Not for operation by general public. Okay. Didn't they just say this was a private elevator? Don't stand behind me. Awkwardly stare at each other in the elevator for 47 floors. This is exactly what you want to do to every elevator attendant. I wonder why the department store is closed. Temporarily closed. This is the best town, huh? Some great music, that's for sure. When Monotoli came became the owner, this department store began having strange happenings. Alright, so we are not going to be equipping ourselves. Not yet, anyway. 
What happened to those guys digging for buried gold? If if they found the gold, it would be worth a huge amount of money. They'd be able to pay off a million dollar debt very easily. If I were them, I'd go to Japan and live it up. <laughs> I'd join you on that one. Speaking of the top of the theater, which nobody was speaking of, there's a new singer called Venus. She's better than the Runway 5. I'm totally bonkers about her. In the old days, Mr. Monitoli was just a regular, unattractive real estate agent. Now he has the power to control the police force. I don't think the city of Forsyth is better than before. So we got mixed opinions here. First floor, Forsyth Bakery. Second floor, second floor of the bakery. Seems logical. Bread in this town has a very plain, nondescript flavor to it. To tell you the truth, I'm the owner of this bakery. Do something about that. It's just somebody's house on the second floor. I was thinking, there's a tightwad born every minute. Let's see, I think I have to use the... Where are they? Contact lens. What? You came to deliver my grandma's memento, the contact lens? Thank you. Thank you so much. It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. Here's my socks that I use only for special occasions. I've worn these socks just five years. There are no holes, and they've only been worn once since the last washing. They stink a little, but they're still good. Hey, don't refuse me here. I'm being generous. Ness got a pair of dirty socks. Please take good care of my socks. Mr. T. Pity the fool who abuses his socks. Mr. T. is grateful for the kids who returned his contact lens. I should have. I really should have done a Mr. T. voice for all of that. I'm now that I'm thinking about it. You want to buy a ticket? Thirty bucks. Sure. Have you ever played the uncut version of Earthbound? Um, are you talking about the one that where they undid all of the, uh, um, like the censoring? They kind of did like a a muxing and a little bit of a retranslation of certain things. Is that is that the one you're talking about? Okay. I actually have not played that version. Um, I did think about it for a moment, but uh, to play it on the game, and maybe that would have been fun to see what the difference was. But I really, especially since some of the things that they cut or changed were um, alcohol related, um, part of me didn't want to play it on the channel uh, just for that level. I do want to uh, play it at some point, though. It's essentially the same, but it's good for a hardcore fan. I think I need to do that. I guess I can't consider myself a hardcore fan until I do that. Then <laughs> I've read, like, the Legends of Translations. I've got some of the books. Um, or Legends of Localization, sorry. Um, books and things like that. But uh, read tons of material on it, but I need to do that. So you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? Oh, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, Hey, you guys! Or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf? You're gonna have to find buried gold. Or you would never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. <laughs> Well, we paid for a ticket. Let's check out the show at least. I have a fan book called Traveling Eagle Land, The Earthbound Way. And it's like a guide on the... It's like a take on the original guide. 
Is that the one that's offered by Fangamer, or is that a different one? I'm trying to remember. Okay, if it's the one by Fangamer, I do have that one as well. And it's, yeah, it's so much like the original guide because it look it holds that travel guide look and feel to it. Um, yeah, that one is so good. When Ness arrives, the Runaway Five told me to let him in. So please come in. Yes, it does. I thought that was so clever. I, I appreciated that a ton. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. To meet... Okay, I cannot pronounce this guy's name, but to meet Monotoli, you'll need our help. I don't exactly know why. Just a hunch. We know how to sing. We don't know how to handle money or women. Do up, do up. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh yeah. We're so helpless. Really helpless. And hopeless. <laughs> you. Oh man. Well, I think if we step out, we get the concert. We have a bombshell tonight for, or we've got a bombshell for you tonight, kids. Ah! Kaboom! The Runaway Five. Yeah! Three, two, one, go! And then, of course, the running joke. There are more than five. buy a ticket. Now nah, I'm good. Why to see if he said get out from behind the counter or something like that. The Runaway Five from Tucson seemed pretty popular. I heard that the top of the theater is always full. Staying here tonight? Thanks for being so generous with your tips. You never gave me a tip? Never mind. Awkward. Oh yeah, I've still got money. Welcome to the Monotoli Grand Hotel. A one night stay will cost you 225. Do you want to stay? Yes, I would. As we continue to get up to actual real world hotel costs. Yes. Hey, you! If you meet a beautiful, seductive woman who's looking for me, tell her hi. Anyway, I don't think a woman like that would be looking for me. <laughs> I still see what you mean. All right. Good morning. This is a unique service, exclusive to our hotel only. 
I'm here to read you today's headline. On the front page of the Foresight Post, over 70% of Foresight citizens support Monotoli. Ness picked up the receiver. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $2,621 into your bank account. Anyway, taking away what you've spent, you should now have $10,487 in the bank. Well, experience to get to the next level. Ness, 11,662, Paula, 1,892, and Jeff, 5725. Anyway, you need anything from me? Record. All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. All right? And with that, we're a great team, aren't we? So, thank you all so much for joining me for another um, continuation through Earth our adventures in Earthbound. I appreciate it. Uh, Shaw, Bryce, thank you for stopping by and chatting. It was awesome. Um, Bryce, nice to have a uh, fellow uh, Earthbound uh, Earthbound fan in the uh, <laughs> in the chat. I appreciate it. And just thank you guys so much for coming by and hanging out. Until next time, have a good evening, take care, and good night.